I'm going to do the self-defense technique, slicing lands. If you haven't heard of that one, uh, it's not unusual because it comes out of long form eight. So it's way up black belt, fifth degree. It's one of the techniques in the form. I'm going to do it on this angle. And uh, Darren is going to do a, a step through right uppercut. It could also be for a, a kick as well. But basically, I'm going to cross my left leg behind and <clears throat> I'm going to cut and <clears throat> let that ride up. <clears throat> Stab or thrust, deep <clears throat> kick. And I open him up with two outward uh, torquing strikes. So I'm going to try this one again, slicing lance. So I'm standing naturally. Again, the odds of him attacking of um, you know, have, him not having any weapons and me having two might be very slim, but it's building the coordination with the knives and the footwork. So I get my body out of the way and I cut and then I naturally let my body ride up. I take my left knife and I thrust it and that puts him deep in position for the last two strikes as well. Okay, so we'll try it one more time and I'll show you another alternative for a kick. So the idea on the first move is as the uppercut's coming, I'm just crossing and getting my body out of the way. But as I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut his arm. <laughs> Deep, ride that, <laughs> Deep. make my strikes and uh, finish the move. If he's coming for a front kick, the range might be such where he needs a bit more room. So that's good for me because I have more read time. But we'll do this slow. He comes with a front kick and I cut and I cut. The same move, uh, whether for an uppercut or a front kick. We'll try that one more time. So he does the right front kick, and I stab, and I make my cuts, and that is slicing lance.